Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Future Editing Blake here. Um, I forgot to make an intro for this video, so I just wanted to make a quick little intro for this video. Today, um, we are going to be going on a little journey. Future um, Editing Blake is also going to be doing a little voiceover work here. And I'm going to be showing you guys how I made some of the best chicken wings I think I've had in a really long time. The other day on Instagram, I saw somebody doing a food review of some place in Las Vegas that had honey chipotle chicken wings, and it sounded really fucking good. I obviously don't live in... Uh, Las Vegas, so I was like, you know what, I'm gonna try to make it myself, so I'm gonna be showing you guys how I made glorified chicken nuggets, boneless, skinless chicken uh, wings, but um, I'm gonna let future voiceover Blake take over now, um, and I hope you guys enjoy this video. Okay, now first and foremost, when you're working with chicken, if you want to get something that is really full of flavor, really tasty and delicious, juicy, um, you want to marinate the chicken overnight. Uh, if you can't do it overnight, you want to at least marinate it for 30 minutes. Here's the marinade I'm making. So first off, I'm starting off with heavy cream. And then I'm getting this Better Than Bolivian smoky chipotle stuff. If you don't know Betty, Better Than Bolivian, it's stuff usually made for broth. A lot of flavor packed in that tiny little bit that I just added in there. Now I'm going to add some garlic, salt and pepper, and then stir that up. And then that is ready to go. Um, I already went ahead and got boneless, skinless chicken thighs, and I cut them up into little cubes, and uh, that's the marinade there, and I'm going to go ahead and put that in the fridge overnight. And now I'm going to also make the sauce as well in preparation. Um, I'm a firm believer that pickles and onions go in sauces. Um, pickles and onions can really always add to the flavor. So obviously I got my pickles here. I'm going to go ahead and put them through an immersion blender. If you don't have an immersion blender, um, any form of chopper or literally just dicing them up yourselves would work just as well. So I go ahead and got that as well. Now I'm going to get about two spoonfuls of mayonnaise. And before you guys are like, Blake, you said honey chipotle wings. Hear me out. Trust me. Trust the process. Um, so before you're like, oh my God, Blake, you just made a tartar sauce. Um, yes, I kind of did. That's not the intention, but that's, that is what happened. Um, next I'm going to add a spoonful of brown sugar, just a little bit to add some sweetness. Then I'm going to add some ketchup as well. And then once again, back to this smoky chipotle better than Bolivian. I'm adding a bunch of that into that until we get a nice dark color like that. And then to make it more liquidy, I am adding heavy whipping cream. Um, this is the final consistency that I got. Nice color. This sauce, um, I had a little bit of it the night when I first made it is absolutely delicious it's sweet and spicy and it works so well Alrighty, and now it's the next day and i am ready to start breading my chicken and frying them up so first off i'm going to make an egg wash here i'm using three eggs a little bit of heavy whipping cream salt and pepper very simple and then the dry mixture we're going to get an ungodly amount of flour um and then i'm going to show you a little trick that a famous youtuber named joshua wiseman showed me um if you put a little bit of powdered sugar in your uh flour mixture it goes a long way to adding to flavor, texture. It'll really taste good. Um, then I'm adding a little bit of cornstarch. I've never used cornstarch before, so I just used about a tablespoon of it. Um, and now we're going to the seasonings. Um, all the seasonings here are the seasonings I've used. From the left to the right is the order of how much I use them. So the left I use the most, and then the ones on the right I use less. And um, yeah, so I went ahead and put those in, wicked those up. Now it's time to get my frying station ready as you know you want to go ahead and dip it in the flour then dip it in the egg mixture and then dip it back in the flour make sure it is fully coated and then put it on a drying rack until you're ready to fry i um cannot afford a videographer so i did not record me breading it so i'm going to go ahead and start preparing the frying aspect you want to go ahead and get um cannoli oil vegetable oil whatever frying oil you want to use on the stove Fill the pot only halfway because if you do more, it can be a safety hazard. Put it on high and let that start boiling. And now I got my breaded chicken here already. And we're going to go ahead and start letting those fry from anywhere from three to five minutes until they're crispy brown. And um, the way to know if the chicken and everything is cooked is if it is floating, it is cooked. So I'll show you right there. Beautiful, yummy sizzle. It's going to be nice and brown. And here we actually already have another batch that I already made. And um, what I did after... I uh, made them, I put them in a bowl that I have a lid, added all the sauce, added some red pepper flakes and um, some parsley, and then I'm going to go ahead and shake that up in a second and add honey as well on the top of that. And yeah, so now I'm going to plate it and try a little bit of it and let you know how it tastes. And oh my god, look at that. Oh, that is absolutely beautiful. Very, very proud of this creation. And um, I'm actually going to let my uh, past self take over from here. Oh, my God. Okay, so 
Um, future Blake here. Um, I had those just recently. Holy guacamole. Um, wow. Wow. Um, I've made boneless wings in the past. Um, the skin coming off is kind of new for me, so that was a little weird. Don't really know what that was about, but, um, overall, the majority of them were pretty fine. They were damn good. They were really fucking good. The chicken was nice and cooked through, tender, very juicy, whatever, because of the marinade. Um, the sauce that I made for it. Let me just tell you. Whoo, after making it, or whatever, and, like, recording me making it the other day, um, I had a little bit of it, and I literally, like, audibly moaned. I was- it was so good. I don't know what exactly happened. I don't know how it worked out the way that it did, but that sauce was one of the best things I've ever fucking made ever. Um, and then when you put it on the chicken or whatever- um, if you were eating it or whatever, and you got a little bite of the pickle, oh, just the texture, the breading was nice and soft, but also crisp, and, like, when you'd bite into it, it was a nice tender bite, but it also wasn't to the point where it was like, holy shit, I think I'm gonna break a tooth or anything like that, um, and then, like I said, if you got a little bite of the pickle when you, like, had the sauce, holy shit, there was just layers on top of layers on top of layers of flavor there, and it was really fucking good. I think this is one of the best things I've ever, ever made on my channel. I definitely would give it like a 9.7 out of 10. This was really good. I 10 out of 10 would recommend it. If you are going to make anything that I've ever made on this channel, that's the fucking one to do. That was so good. Anyways, that's it for this video, guys, though. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.